Hello everyone, welcome back again to our channel Code Circuit. In this tutorial, this will be the third part of the Python JSON tutorial that we have been looking to. Okay, so in this tutorial, I will be talking about how you can implement JSON in Python using OOPS concepts. Okay, so the two methods that we had, loads and dumps, we will be using those two methods here using a OOPS paradigm. Okay, so before starting this video, I would like to request all of you to please like and share our videos with your friends and family and also thank you for all your support and I hope you will be supporting us in future and also please don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you can receive latest updates from our channel. Okay, thank you. So let's get started. So let me just go back to the project here. You can see we have p1.py where we actually converted the normal dictionary into a json data my data dot json and in the p2.py in this one we loaded the data from the json file my data dot json using the loads function okay so dumps is for dumping the data into a json file and loads is to load the data from another json file okay so this one the third one will be how we can write the json commands or how we can write a python script using oops concepts so i will rename it like this json with oops okay so let us take a simple example for that first of all what i will do is i will let me just minimize this screen okay so i will import the json module fine then let us create a class called employee okay and first of all let us design the attributes so i will create the constructor first of all and i will take three parameters or attributes okay name the id of the employee and the salary okay So as we earlier have done in all our programs, let us create the attributes name equal to name. Okay. Self dot ID is equal to ID. Okay. So you are just assigning the parameters. If you guys are not aware of the oops concepts in Python, I will share a link in the description and also in the I button so that you can go to that video and learn about Python OOPS concepts in a proper way then after that you can come back and learn from this video okay you can continue with this video so the next one is self dot salary is equal to salary okay so we are done with setting the attributes now let us take a simple method to get the info of each employee say I can say print info okay and here i will simply be printing the details like say name comma self dot name id comma self dot id okay and last one is the salary comma self dot salary okay so we are done with this now suppose there is a option of incrementing the salary of one employee so for that what we can do is we can create another method called def increment salary we will be taking the employee as a self parameter then we will taking the increment value okay what we will do is simply self dot salary plus equal to the salary increment value given by the user that's all okay and now let's come back to the most important part here the first part is saving the data so what my target is i will create the object okay the object of this employee class will be an employee right it can be one a two whatever it is 
each object will have the name the id and the salary attribute after that we have a method which can print the info of each employee and then we have a method called increment salary which can increment the salary by taking the increment value from the user okay and now i want to save this data into a json file okay so let me create a method which will actually save the data to a json file okay so i will write the name like this save to json and here i will just require the file name from the user this will be the file name in which it will be saved okay so i will create a simple dictionary is equal to i will use the key value pairs so name is the first key and for that the value will be obviously self dot name okay then the second one will be the id and for that the value will be self dot id and the third one is the salary so i will say salary and colon self dot salary okay so i have this dictionary created now now let us open a file where we will store this data so with open i will use the file name only comma and you remember right for writing we need the w mode okay this is the mode w and as f this can be anything i will just say f dot write we want to write the data okay so for that we will use the json module and use the dumps function json dot dumps okay and here we'll use this employee dictionary comma and if you remember from the earlier versions or early programs we use this indent right otherwise the data comes in a single line so for that i will also use the indent here i will take indent equal to say 2 okay so this method will be saving the employee data the name id and the salary of the employee into a json file where the file name will be taken from the user okay now let us create one more which will be loading the data from this saved file name into our program okay so load from json here i will use the file name because i need that to load the data from that particular file name now here i will say with open that particular file name comma in the read mode okay as you can take it as f only no problem here what i will do is i will take another variable called data is equal to so again we have to use the json module so json dot obviously you remember right from the earlier tutorials we have to use the loads function to load data from a json file okay so loads inside the parenthesis we will be reading the data so f dot read that's all okay we are done with it now after that let us do one more thing let us update the value of the name of the employee the id of the employee and the salary so for that what we do and guys you remember one thing right when we store the data into this it will become a json file right so now we can use it as key value pairs so suppose i want to update the name so self dot name is equal to i can say data my object and i can give the key to be the name key okay and similarly i can say self dot the second one was the id okay is equal to data of id okay and the third one is self dot salary is equal to data of salary okay so these are actually the keys which i will be searching in that particular file 
this file name because when we read the data this will be a key value pair right whatever we are doing from here so those keys i am updating in my name id and the salary attributes so that's all now this is the entire template created okay so first we create the constructor name id salary then we create a method for printing the info of the employee then we create a method for incrementing the salary okay after that we create a function or method to save the data of each employee into a json file okay and then after that we have created one more function or method where we can load the data from that particular file into our program and read the data okay so because we already have one print info function here if we load the data from this json file we will be able to call that function and read the data okay that is our target now let's do one thing let's try to create one first employee say e1 equal to employee class and inside the parenthesis i will pass the name the id and the salary say name i am passing my name only okay and let me say employee id is 200 okay and the salary let it be say 30k okay and then now let us see e1 dot print info what we get with that okay let me run this okay you can see guys i'm getting my name my id and my salary so it's working fine now let's do one thing let's try to call the save to json function so that we can see whether we can we are able to save the data into a json file or not okay so i will say e1 dot save to json here it will be asking the file name so here what i will say is i will say saurabh dot json okay this is the file name that i am giving now if you see in the project i don't have any file with that name right if i run this now just see what happens yes, there is no error and if i minimize this output window you can see i have one json file created called saurabh.json if i open this yes you can see guys name id and the salary has been dumped into a json file that means we have created a json file with the particular data the name of the employee the id and the salary so it's working fine right now let's do one thing let's go back to our program and try to read the data from this json file sort of that json okay so for that let me just do one more thing i will say e1 dot increment salary and let me pass something like this say we are incrementing by say 10000 now after incrementing the salary let's try to print the details let's see what we get here now run this now okay guys you can see here the earlier salary was 30000 after increasing the salary we are getting 40000 so it's working fine everything is working fine right so now this is done now what i will do let me just come in this part because the object has been created i don't want to load the file again and again what i want to do is i want to create one new object say e2 is equal to employee and i will not pass any values here okay what i will do is i will pass none 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 and none okay now let us try to load this particular file saurabh.json so e2 dot i will say load from json and here i will pass my file name okay fine after loading let us try to print the data so i will say e2 dot print info fine so the data here was something like this here name id salary so or 200 and 30000 okay so let's try to see if it's working fine or not run yes guys you can see here this is the data here and this is the output here saurabh id 200 and salary 30000 so 
it is able to read the data okay so it is working fine so this is how guys you can use object oriented programming concepts and dump data into a json file using the dumps function as you can see here but be careful about the indent you have to pass it and also you can load the data or read the data from a json file using the loads function okay that's it so if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment your doubts in the comment section i will be very happy to clarify them and also at the same time please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you really like this video also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates okay stay tuned and happy learning i'm sort of signing off bye bye and see you in the next tutorial